Hello everyone and welcome back to another Lead Code video. So today we're going to be solving the Lead Code question, isomorphic strings. So in this question we're going to be given two strings, S and T, and we need to determine whether or not they are isomorphic. So two strings, S and T, are considered to be isomorphic if all of the characters in S can be replaced to get T. Okay, so now this over here says all occurrences of a character must be replaced with another character while preserving the order of the characters. No two characters may map to the same character, but a character may map to itself. So this over here is pretty important and we do need to take note of that. Okay, perfect. So now let's look at a few examples to actually better understand what this is actually saying. So over here we have, let's just call all of these strings S and this over here T. So we have the string egg and add. So is it isomorphic or not? So to see whether it's isomorphic or not, let's see whether we can replace the letters in S to make it equivalent to A. So one thing we could do is we could go to E and make all the E's in the string S equal to A. So now we would have something like A, G, G, since all the E's become A's. And again, we're maintaining the order. So A, G, G is not equal to add. So what is something else we could change? We could change all of the G's to D's. So in this case, we would have A, and then this G becomes D, and this G becomes D as well. So this over here now equals to the value add, right? So add and add, right? So this over here is isomorphic, and we're going to return true. But now let's just add a small condition. All right, one second. All right, so instead of having the words egg and add, let's just make up another word. So let's say over here, the word we actually have is egg E, so E-G-G-E. And the word over here is ADDS, so ads, okay? So now let's check whether it's isomorphic. So let's do the same thing. So the E is going to map to A. And again, this means all the E's map to A. So this becomes an A, then the G stay as it is, so this becomes G and G. And now this E over here also becomes an A. So you can kind of tell that this over here is a problem. Both of the E's have to map to the same letter. So this is kind of going to be the basis of how we find our solution. So let's just go through this again. So the G's become uh, D's and we would have A, D, D, A. But again, A, D, D, A is not equal to ads. So one way to look at this question, which is pretty simple, is that both of these values must map to the same thing. So what that means is the first E we have over here, at the same index for the uh, string T, we have A. Now the second E, which is at the last index, corresponds to an S. So since they correspond to different things, no matter what we change E with, no matter what we replace it with, we are not going to get the same value, since we can only replace it with one letter. So that's going to be how we find a solution. We, we're going to create a mapping, right? And keeping that in mind, we can just create a dictionary or a hash map, right? So in Python, it would just be a dictionary. So let's see how we do that with this example over here, paper and title. So what we're going to do is we're first going to iterate through both of them at the same time. So first we go to P and then we go to the same thing for T, right? So we have P and T. So in this case, we're going to make, make a mapping saying that for this to be isomorphic, all the P's in string S must be mapped to a T. Okay, so this is the rule that we have set. Perfect. So now let's go on to A. So at A, we have the rule, which is all A's must map to I. So A maps to I. Perfect. So again, now again, we came across a P. And now this P also maps to T. So that's not a problem because the previous mapping we had also maps P to T. But just for the sake of changing it, uh, let's just say this was T-I-S-L-E, T-I-S-L-E, okay, that's the word. So in this case, this P now would map to an S, which means that our, uh, our, our value, our words are not isomorphic since the first P uh, maps to a different letter altogether. So let's just go back and continue with this example. So now we have a E, which maps to L. So E maps to L. And finally, the R maps to E. So in this case, this value S can be replaced with some letters to give us the string T. 
So this over here is isomorphic as well. And one thing to note is the P, both the P's do map to a T and still work out. Perfect. Now there's one small condition which I skipped over when I first did this question, which is this over here. No two characters may map to the same character, but a character may map to itself. So the main thing is that two characters cannot map to the same character. So keeping that in mind, let's look at this example over here. So B, A, D, C is our first string, and then we have B, A, B, A. So let's just do this. So B over here and the B over here, they map to each other. So B maps to B, and that, that works, right? So you can replace the characters to map to itself. So that's not a problem. Now let's go on to the A, and over here we have A again. So that tells us that the A maps to A, which is also correct. Now we go to the D here, and we have a B here. So that tells us D maps to B, which is incorrect, but let's just finish this first. And now finally we have a C, which maps to A. So the C over here maps to A. Now this over here is actually incorrect. And the reason for that is B over here maps to B, and A maps to A, which is correct. But now the D also maps to B, which is incorrect, since each letter, since B already exists and it cannot be repeated. So both of these mappings, this one and this one over here, cannot exist. And because of that, this makes it not isomorphic and we have to return a value of false. So now let's see what this looks like in code. All right, so we're gonna start off by defining our dictionary and it's just gonna be an empty dictionary, let's call it D. So now we need to iterate through our strings. Now, one thing I forgot to mention earlier is that this is not going to work when the strings are of different sizes, obviously, right? So to actually ensure that the question by default, make sure that T and S both have the same length. Okay, so that's something we don't need to worry about. So now keeping that in mind, we're gonna iterate through this. So we can just do for index, in range, and then we can take the length of S or T, doesn't matter. Okay, so now let's get both of the characters. So let's have something called character one and character two. So character one would be whatever is at the uh, index of S. So we would just go to S and go to that index. And for character two, we would go to T and then go to that index. So now that we have the two characters, we first need to check if whatever is in character one already exists in the dictionary. So if character one, or we're gonna check if it's not in the dictionary, sorry. So if it is not in the dictionary, we need to add this character to the dictionary. So the way we do that is we go to our uh, dictionary, we make character one a key, and its value is gonna be character two. That tells us that character one maps to character two. Now, there's some things that we do need to add to this, but we can get to that later. So else, so if this is not the case, what that means is that character one is already inside of D. So in this case, what that means is that we need to check if the current, the previous mapping we had still holds true. So already character one has some sort of mapping and we need to check if that still exists. And the way we do that is we go to character one, right? And we get its uh, value, right? So this is what it's being matched to. And this has to be equal to two. Now, if it is, sorry, not to, uh, to character two, right? So if this is not equal to character two, that means that both the same letters have different mappings. Now, in this case, we can just directly return false. And instead of having it like this, we can just make it an else, else, else of statement. Okay, so there's that. Now, one thing that we didn't account for is this condition over here. No two characters may map to the same character. So now keeping that in mind, we can write a small condition here. So we can check if character two is in any of the values. And we can do that by doing D dot values. Now, if character two is in any of the values, that means that there's a repetition of the same mapping. And in that case, we're gonna return false. So finally, this is going to be it. And um, outside of this, if we get through the entire string and we don't end up returning false, that means our answer is true. So we end up returning true. And as you can see, our submission was expect, uh, accepted. So the uh, space complexity of this is going to be constant space because in the worst case, we're gonna have a dictionary with 26 alphabets and obviously it's not gonna get past that. So that's the worst case scenario and that is constant. And the time complexity is gonna be big O of N since we're iterating through our strings. So thanks a lot for watching and hopefully this video did help you. Thank you.